Good election day eve, everybody. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 home office backyard. As of right now, we've got a quiet start to the evening hours as the votes are tallied for election day. Complete coverage available at WREG.com and also again at WREG on air if you'd like to keep up to date with that. If you're looking out for anything in the way of stargazing tonight, some limited opportunities depending on how much this cloud cover decides to stick around because as of right now, looking like it's going to be a little bit on the cloudy side throughout the entire Mid-South for this evening. But as you can see, there is a little bit of some gaps out there, so we might be able to see at least a little bit of some stargazing weather out there for this evening. Not much, but we'll take what we can get at this point in time. The rainfall looks like it's pretty much over with, but the clouds will be sticking around into tomorrow when the, all these clouds will be making their way out of the Mid-South down towards the South, and maybe some better stargazing conditions into tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Taking a look at what's going on with the moon phase right now just past first quarter and it's going to be very close to Mars that's going to be a fairly bright point of light in the night skies if you'd like to take a look out for that for this evening that'll be in the mid southern skies as of about mid to early evening hours and a good opportunity to see more out there into the next couple of days which will bring you more on that over the next several days as well currently looking at not much of anything visible tonight into the area thanks to the cloud cover now as we get into tomorrow morning if things close clear by just a little bit. The OTV space plane will be overhead early in the morning at about a quarter to five. If you'd like to be able to try to see that, it'll be one of the brightest things out there. It'll be visible for about two minutes, but not much more than that. And once again, clouds tomorrow could be sticking around for a while and that could limit visibility into the overnight hours so you might get a chance to see the secret space plane or so-called secret space plane but that's about it no other other real visible objects are going to be up there into tonight or tomorrow and likewise nothing in the way of visible iridium flares either so nothing to report on that either now over the next several days we should be looking at some good conditions for seeing a few areas of planets jupiter in the early morning hours and then mars saturn and venus in the south to southwest sky. So a good opportunity to see these planets out there. Venus and Saturn getting very close to the horizon and also looking again back toward the area of Mars. So if you have a small telescope, you might be able to point that at the direction of the southwest right after sunset and pick up some of these out there. And again, not too good in the way of viewing for tonight. You might be able to see something, but as of right now, clouds are continuing to be fairly low across the area and not going to be too much in the way of good visibility for seeing this. Hopefully that remains around into the weekend before our next cold front arrives by the time we had Friday or so. But until then, these clouds out across parts of the Mid-South are going to be a bit of a problem for any stargazing going on. All the links that we saw from last night, including the space weather radio that's posted on my social media web pages, if you'd like to see more about that, and also information about what happens now after the recent crash of the Chaparelli probe on Mars. What's going to be going on to replace that as the next mission gets set to head to Mars for 2020? And even more missions beyond that, what lessons were learned from the crash of the lander and what safety procedures are being reviewed to make certain that it doesn't happen again. That's all available on my social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and many others, and if you'd like to take a look at those. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Backyard Home Office Edition, and keeping up to date on what's going on out there in the night skies. More information on weather available at WREG.com slash weather. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather, news, and sports throughout the Mid-South.